Now let's go over to our man, Mr. Jan Obbs. Uh, Jan has a great website, first off, folks. Uh, it's janarbs.com. That's uh, J-A-N-A-R-B-S.com. Uh, Jan is the owner of the uh, Jan Obbs Traders Toolbox. He converts sophisticated trading concepts into trading solutions for traders. Uh, he writes software. Tomorrow morning, folks, okay, at eSignal, uh, back in black. You can go to eSignal.com. When you get there, you're going to see at the very top the education tab. If you hit that education tab, uh, eSignal is having a webinar tomorrow. It's free. Uh, it's going to be a dynamic webinar. It starts at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, goes from 9 to 1. You have uh, a lot of great speakers. We got Dr. J, you got Daryl Guppy, you got Howard Linson, uh, Ron Wheeler, Jan Obbs, and Dan Zanger. Uh, Jan is going to be speaking from 11.30 to 12.15 Eastern Standard Time. Jan Obbs, how you been? Hey, I've been just fine. Can I correct you on one thing, please? Because people may miss it. Ab My first name is Jan, J-A-N, and the last name is Arps, A-R-P as in Paul, S, not B. Absolutely. So if you're going to log on my website, it's J-A-N-A-R-P-S dot com. Sorry, Jan. Appreciate it, man. So, hey, uh, how, no how have you been? Well, I've been great. I've been uh, in, enjoying the, the market cycles. No, no doubt. So tell us what you're going to be teaching at the Back in Black eSignal webinar tomorrow. Well, we have about a dozen of our tools that are built into the uh, eSignal platform. Yes. That uh, they were kind enough to uh, endorse us on that about 10 years ago. Um, and uh, these are called the ARPS Crown Jewels. Okay. I've been developing tools for 20 years. Yes. And uh, we picked a, a, a dozen or so that are our best tools uh, that we call the Crown Jewels and uh, uh, put those onto the eSignal platform. Nice. And I'm going to be talking about how to use those tools uh, to optimize your trading and make the best trades. Now, I'm on your website right now, and I'm looking, uh, the, the first one that it pulls up there is cycles. So talk to me about what you're looking at when you look at cycles. <laughs> uh, I think it's cycle turning points. We want, and, we want all these secrets, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you whatever you know, uh, whatever I can. Uh, the cycles is called uh, cycles turning points. And yes. It, it's basically a... Uh, a timing tool. Uh, it picks out uh, the, the the peaks and the valleys in in hindsight. Okay. Uh, and uh, looks at the time intervals between them so that uh, we can project some cyclical activities in in the price and uh, project those out into the future. Nice. And I, I can see inside this you get the Fibonacci, you get the price channels. You know, when we talk price channels, it, it's intriguing because. You know, the S&P, of course, has been in this monster channel for quite a while. Uh, you know, we broke sure that. Has. Yeah. And we, it was, so what do you think about, you know, we came down the 15th of October, we broke the channel, but then we popped right back inside it. What does that tell you? Well, right now we're in a sideways channel. Uh, some of my other indicators are showing that uh, the pressure is to the upside. So okay. I think uh, the breakout is going to be to the upside. We have uh, our fear greed indicator, which is a very popular indicator that uh, that's used on the on the signal. And what it's measuring is how much volume does it take to move the price up one unit versus how much does it take to move down one unit. Okay. And this gives us an idea of whether the bulls or the bears are in charge at the moment. That that's an intriguing uh, setup. So what, what inside of that? Right now, of course, it seems that it's going to be less volume to move it up, right? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That, uh, it's going to take uh, less force to move it up than it is to move it down. So the, the the bulls are in control. Yeah, we've been going up like for three years with light volume. I mean, today it's pretty amazing. But the bottom line is that you get higher price, right? Yeah. Yeah. You've got uh, the crown jewels. Which which one of your indicators is the crown jewel of the crown jewels? <laughs> well, I love them all, but uh, the one that I like to use the most is the ARPS Trender. Okay. And the ARPS Trender is basically a statistically ba uh, based tool, mathematically based tool, 
uh, that's measuring the trendiness of the market and the direction of the market. Uh, and we generally run it uh, with three different settings. So I'm looking at the short term, the medium term, and the long term trend. And uh, I get excited when all three of them are, are in sync. Uh, but we keep track of the long term, medium term, and short term trends of a, a large number of symbols as well as the various markets. Yeah, you can see that there's no doubt that, you know, if you have that harmony, uh, you know, going top, well, going, to, going up and or going down, right? Uh, it's pretty hard yeah. to, it's, it doesn't hard to break it, but when they all, simultaneously going the same direction it's like okay that's where we're going <laughs> yeah that's about right you know and Jan let me ask you I know that you also I mean you're a software writer right also right yes. you know a financial yes. software yeah. writer um, mm -hmm. what has been you know and other people come to you to write software right have yes. have you got any uh, new ideas in the last 10 15 years as to how these markets are moving from other people Well, everything that I have <laughs> gives me an idea of what the markets, how the markets are moving. Sure. And they don't always all agree. Uh, it's always interesting to see what kind of uh, ideas people have that they want us to program up. Uh, and although you know we keep their algorithms confidential if they so request. Yes. It's still nice to watch and and see what. Uh, What's going on? Yeah, no, that was my question, really. I wouldn't expect you to come out with it, but, you know, it's always intriguing because it seems that, you know, you've been in this business long enough, Dave has and I have, it always seems that you know, no matter how long we're in the business, another light bulb can go off and you think, oh, I got it this time, right? You know, this is, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this, is, this is it, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has, has the, um, the structure, meaning the ETF structure, that there are so many ETFs now, I mean, you know, it's amazing. I know that you remember when the iShares first came out and, you know, remember uh, one of the... Uh, Dorsey, you know, uh, Dorsey was saying this is going to change the market. Well, and I, I think you know, uh, I forgot this other guy. But the bottom line is that they did change the market. Do they change the way that you're even uh, writing some of the software? Well, not really. Because, you know, as one of my mantras is a chart is a chart is a chart. And yes. It really doesn't matter what you're looking at or what the time frame is. They're all bars that go up and down. And they have a certain amount of volume that pushes them up and down. And uh, I can take away the time frames, you know, so I don't know what the time frame is. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, is there anything special you're going to focus on tomorrow? Uh, well, I am going to focus on the ARPS Crown Jewels, and I'm particularly going to focus on the Triple Trender, uh, which is what we were just talking about, the medium-term, long-term, and short-term trends. Um, and uh, how I use this in my daily uh, daily work, uh, and uh, I usually uh, set up a whole screening uh, window of uh, all the charts of of all the stocks that are within a particular category. Yes. Right now, I'm really focusing on uh, the oil and gas industry and okay. the shale gale. Uh, this is such an amazing thing that's going on, and the stocks are are moving very nicely. And I'm keeping track of not only the oil companies, but also the companies that are transporting the oil, the pipelines, the tanker companies, the uh, railroads, and so forth. And I have those all in spreadsheets. Uh, and with my triple trender, I can see who's, uh, who's coming up out of the pack and which are the strong ones and which are the weak ones. And, recommending those to my clients. You know what's going to be cool here, too, is that there's no doubt, I mean, you, you saw the dollar made, I mean, it, it had a reversal of 915 ticks today, and of course the com commodities went topside. So that's going to be intriguing, you know, basically exactly what you're doing, because, you know, between those commodities took a hit and beyond belief. But it's going to be interesting if this is the end of the move in the dollar for the, you know, next three or four months. Yeah, it certainly will be interesting to watch. And, uh, my triple trenders will show me which ones, which currency combinations are the, the strongest and which are the weakest and which way we think we should go. That's a beautiful thing. Listen, folks, come. you can go to eSignal.com, 
When you go to eSignal, you can hit the Education tab. What you're going to see right there is Back in Black. It starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It goes from 9 to 12. Uh, Jan is on from 11.30 to 12.15. Uh, his website is J-A-N-A-R-P-S.com. <laughs> Jan, you have a great night, safe night, and we look forward to the webinar tomorrow. Well, thank you for interviewing me. Okay, look man. Forward to it. Have a great one. Bye -bye. Have, a, have a safe one. Good night.